Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Now, we have been critical from time to time about hydrogen, but not, not if it really is renewable or green hydrogen. That's really a question we're asking ourselves. While battery electric vehicles have won when it comes to smaller and medium-sized vehicles, there are lots of other sectors still up for discussion. So we sent DK to take a look around the H2 Mobility and Energy Show to see if Korea could crack the hydrogen economy. Don't forget our great EV giveaway. Subscribe and enter for the chance to win one of several electrifying prizes, including one of four electric cars. So we are here today in one of the most hydrogen economies, Korea, to take a look around at the H2 Mobility Plus Energy Show. We have been critical from time to time about hydrogen, but not if it's renewable hydrogen and not if it's an appropriate application. After all, how could we hate a molecule? We're now inside and you guys are probably thinking and wondering why I'm wearing mask and just take a look around. Everybody else is wearing mask as well. Still here in Korea, unfortunately, the situation has not yet settled. So they require all these masks on everybody. So follow me and then let's get into the Hydrogen Mobility Energy Show 2021. Let's go. and come meet M Vision to go. And just look at this thing turning its steering wheel. It has 180 degrees maneuver. So inside it has 52 liters of capacity for the tank with 200 kilometers of driving distance. And the unique feature of this M to go is look at this car moving sideways with the 180 maneuver system. It can go back and forth and it can turn 360 degrees at a standstill position. Just look at that. This thing is just so adorable. All right, hopping in this M Vision Pop. And this car is a fully electric vehicle. But what's special about this car? Well, as you can see, it's a two seater, but you put your smartphone right up here and then hook it up to this car and you have all the information and technology needed inside at your fingertips so right here come check this out i can actually shoot out message to the pedestrians in the front right here i tap on the cross the road and you can go around and check the front this is like the ultimate urban mobility just look at that they got the pixel lights here there with the squares and the square digital side mirror this thing is absolutely gorgeous so over here this is the hydrogen fuel cell power pack and this comes in 50 kilowatts with 30 kilowatts the tiny one over there but this big one goes into the big cars like the forklifts and other industrial vehicles And this is the tram that we see in, you know, metropolitan cities. And there are many cities that currently has trams running around. But tram is also turned into fuel cell tram. And this tram can do about 150 kilometers in driving distance. All right, so the inside of this tram is, well, kind of looks like a traditional tram slash the subway. They have uh, mostly deleted out the seats. You can, you know, lay back, hold your hands, and also pull this out and take a seat like that. But the one of the be biggest benefits with most of the hydrogen and also fuel cell cars that we have been seeing throughout is that they can produce a massive space both inside out. 
and that's also evidently found on this fuel cell tram. This can easily do 100, if not 150 people inside, you know, capacity. And over here, come check out the technology shown on the tram. And by 2028, Hyundai aims to be the first automaker in the world to make all commercial vehicles with fuel cell electric vehicles. And we're seeing the first production model of that car, which is the Axiant fuel cell. And these cars actually have been sold in Switzerland and they are actually up and running. And this Axiant is running on 290 kilowatt batteries with 630 volts that pushes out 73 kilowatt hour. And the motor is doing 350 kilowatts and the driving distance is about 400 kilometers. And we are at SK Booth, and you guys are probably familiar with that name from the SK's batteries. And they are one of the biggest conglomerates here in Korea that is a key player when it comes to EV as well as batteries. But over here, I am at the booth for the hydrogen where they're talking about the liquefied hydrogen versus hydrogen gas. And they made a good visual aid right here with these hydrogen molecule right there. But the hydrogen gas is about 800 times larger in terms of the volume compared to the liquefied hydrogen. And with that liquefied hydrogen, they have made a drone out of it, which can travel for 12 hours and weighs less than nine kilograms, 8.7 kilos to be exact. And that fly duration is no match whatsoever to other drones out there. And that's only made possible with this liquefied hydrogen tank that this drone has right there. This rescue drone is equipped with the mud tires all around and that is of course built for heavy duty and off-road conditions and harsh conditions. And these cars, rescue drones, will go into the mountains and deploy the drone right there, which is equipped with, as you can see up there on the screen, which is equipped with thermal imaging sensor. So the drone alone can sense and tell firefighters and rescue personnel to which directions to go. And also, before they come in, make their way, this rescue drone can go in, kill some fire, make the ways for the firefighters to come. And also look at that, just open up the doors in here and then they have the carriers to pull out people inside and safe inside with a clean air away from the smoke. and come meet trailer drone and this by far is my personal favorite and this as you can see is a drone but trailer put together this module that you see underneath right here is called e bogey and if you are familiar with the term Hyundai has derived the term from the trains and this essentially is a robot this is more closer to a robot than that of a vehicle because the technology embedded and put into it is exactly similar to and near close to robots. And right here, you can see the pixel design that Hyundai is pushing for, recently seen on Ionic 5 and Ionic 6, the prophecy concept. They have the pixel design right there. And guess what? This each e bogey can turn into both front and rear of a vehicle at the same time. They both have embedded taillights right on the back and also headlights at the same time. So perhaps you might be thinking that the car is facing forward now. I mean, it is with the headlights on, but if the car needs to make a movement up on the front that way, now that portion can turn into the front part and this being the taillight. And this is the front 
of trailer drone with the headlights on and just look at that turn signal. It's so direct and intuitive. It's literally an arrow pointing left and right. And also, it is fully equipped with digital side mirror that we have seen on Ionic 5. Again, both front and the back. But just look at that. Check out the maneuver this giant cargo truck trailer is making. This is just unbelievable. This allows and enables the car to make a super tight turn that no trailer was able to do whatsoever. And Hyundai actually has made this circle and roundabout actually much bigger than its turning radius, as we can see. And when this e-bogey is on the back, just look at this car moving. Again, fully autonomous, devoid of passengers, utilizing all the space right there available. And look at the taillight at the, at, as well. This is actually fully devoid of passengers, as you can see. There is no driver, there is no seat on the passenger, there just completely is no seat. So from that portion to here, which was sacrificed and used for driver conventionally, now it's completely gone that can be used and utilized for extra storage. And that's also both front and the back. And this is Hyundai Heavy Industries and this vehicle that we see before us. This is the forklift and this is the excavator, but they both are powered by hydrogen. And just imagine these two machines rolling on the industrial sites, making no emission whatsoever. So last but not least, it's going to be Vision. FK. And it is equipped with hydrogen fuel cell energy converter. And it has been super, super tricky to put that technology inside this car. And this car is a product of the man in charge of the Hyundai M brand, Albert Biermann and he has collaborated with Remak. And in order for them to put in that huge fuel cell technology on the rear of this car, they borrowed this car, the chassis from Gia. And with those of you with the keen eye would be able to tell, but this is actually Gia Stinger. The front, they wrapped it around so that you can barely see the DRL and as well as the headlight on the front. But look at, that rear quarter portion. Do you see something special? We do see something special right there. That's the air duct. That is a symbolic feature of rear motor cars. And that is exactly what this Vision FK is. This car on the front, Vision FK, is actually using 275, 35, 20. And that's mostly like the rear tire size of a modern day sports car. And how is that possible? We can see that with this crazy over fender that they have put in. And we're not just talking about the FRP add-on that we see on the markets, but if you look inside, whole chassis with the steel parts has been reinforced and redesigned for this Vision FK alone. So come over this way. This is the rear tire of the Vision FK and the tire size is just outrageous. 315 30 21 that is mostly the size that we see on lamborghinis and stuff well that was the whistle stop tour what applications do you see green hydrogen working in and what countries might realize hydrogen economy? Or is that even possible? If you have been, thank you for watching. 
don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button so that you don't miss out on episode. I am DK Kim from Korea and we are Fully Charged.